Hi everyone. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn balancing chemical equations. The type of chemical equations I did discuss now then I am double replacement reaction, or we also call it the double displacement reaction. Okay, so paano magbalance lang mga chemical equations. But before we start that video, hit it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we will be discussing balancing chemical equations. So sabi natin, it did discuss natin yung double replacement uh, reaction. So example, you have reactant AB, it's a compound, plus reactant uh, CD, it's also a compound, will give you AD plus CB. Okay, so double replacement. So in this particular uh, reaction, you replace ni ACC, Si C din, si C din, may replace na si A. Okay? So, double replacement or double displacement. So, if you could see in this particular formula or equation, walang nakalagay na subscript. So, sabi natin, so rules in balancing chemical equations, if there's no subscript written, then that the value of the subscript is 1. Wala din nakalagay na coefficient. So, if there's no coefficient written also in front of the compound or a molecule, then the value of that coefficient is 1. So in this particular uh, equation, okay, A plus A B plus C D, yung reactant natin, plus A D plus C B, yung product natin. Wala silang mga coefficient and wala rin mga subscript. So meaning to say, yung subscript I value is equal to one, yung coefficient din is also equal to one. But kung meron nakalagay, for example, mayroon tayong coefficient na n. N stands for any number. Okay, so n. So, yun yung coefficient ni, na, ni AB, N is a coefficient of CD. Okay? So, kung anong number ang nakasulat dyan as coefficient. So, kung meron yung nakasulat na Y, for example, in this scenario, okay, so meron tayong Y subscript ni D, meron to say, yun yung subscript ni D, but not the subscript of C. Okay? So, yun dito, subscript ni C ay 1 pa rin. Okay? So, to get the number of atoms in balancing the equation, you have to multiply your subscript times your coefficient. So, titignan nyo dito, distributed yan. 8 times subscript of, uh, coefficient times subscript of A, then uh, coefficient also times the subscript of B. Okay? So, yun yung number of atoms, Y times N. Okay? So, let's start balancing this equation. Let's try, uh, we have here compound iron chloride. Plus compound the sodium hydroxide uh, will give you a product of iron hydroxide plus sodium chloride. Okay, so yan yung ano natin yung uh, chemical equations natin. So let's check how many atoms each molecule have. So reactant side and the product side. So let's check with iron. So iron here, if you can notice, wala siyang subscript. Sabi natin pag walang subscript, the value is one. So number of atoms of iron here sa so reactant side is one times 1 equals 1. Dito naman sa product side natin, walang nakalagay na subscript si iron. So, this is also 1. Wala din coefficient. So, this is also 1. So, iron here on the product side is 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay? So, let's check chlorine. So, chlorine sa reactant side. Okay? Anong value ni chlorine? May subscript si chlorine na 3. Sabi natin to get the atom, you have to multiply the subscript times the coefficient which is 1. So, chlorine here is 3 times 1 equals to 3. Dito naman sa product side natin, chlorine is walang, walang subscript. So, this is 1. Walang coefficient, this is also 1. So, 1 times 1 will give you 1. Now, let's try sodium. Okay, so sodium sa reactant side natin. Walang subscript, walang coefficient, that's 1. So, sodium is equal to 1 times 1. Dito naman sa kabila, wala ding subscript and walang coefficient. So, sodium is also 1 times 1 equals 1. So, let's check. Dito, kung titignan nyo, remember, hindi ito iniisa-isa si oxygen and hydrogen. Si oxygen dito and hydrogen is a polyatomic ion. Okay? Ion siya, polyatomic ion. So, kinoconsider siya as one molecule of OH. So, kung ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis, okay, so the subscript of OH is only 1. Okay? So, 
coefficient nila is also 1. So, 1 times 1, OH now, okay, is 1. Dito naman sa product side natin, kapitid na nyo, okay, uh, inside the parenthesis is OH, pero may subscription na 3. So, meaning to say this will now become 3 times 1, yung coefficient, okay, OH or hydroxide is equals to 3. So, let's three, let's check alin ang hindi balance. So, hindi balance si chlorine, hindi rin balance si OH or si hydroxide. Okay? So, let's check kung anong number pwede natin i-add to make this equation balance. Okay? So, let's try adding 3 sa sodium hydroxide. If we are going to put 3 sa sodium hydroxide, okay, ang mangyayari dito ang OH natin, okay? Ang hydroxide natin, 1 subscript times 3 will give you 1 times 3 equals to 3. Okay? Hindi na rin 1 si sodium. Why? Because we have, we, we have added coefficient 3. So, 1 times 3, sodium is now 3. Okay? So, let's check. Hindi pa rin balance si sodium. Hindi pa rin balance si chlorine. But hydroxide or OH is already balanced. So, let's try adding... Uh, 3 dito naman sa product site natin. Okay, so, ano lang yan? Uh, trial and error lang. So, you just have to think the best number, yung bang number na pwede natin i-add okay, as coefficient para maging pareho yung number of molecules, na, uh, pareho yung number of atoms natin uh, per molecule from on the reactant side at saka doon sa product site natin. So, let's try. Kung maglagay tayo ng 3 sa sodium chloride, okay, Ang mangyayari, sodium will not be 1 anymore, but 1 times 3 is already 3. Then chlorine also, kung titignan nyo, hindi na siya 1 lang kasi may coefficient, may coefficient of 3 na. So 1 times 3 equals to 3. So let's see. Ion sa reactant site is 1, sa product site is 1. Check. Dito naman sa chlorine, chlorine is sa reactant site is 3 atoms, sa product site is 3 atoms. That's ba that is balanced. Then we have sodium. Sodium sa so reactant side is 3. Sa so product side is already 3. Balance. Hydroxide, 3 sa so reactant and 3 also on the product side. Very good. Okay, so this equation is already balanced. Okay, so very easy. We'll have another example. Okay, my example pa tayo. Still with double displacement reaction. Okay, so let's try this. Now, you have a silver nitrate plus potassium chromate, okay, will give you potassium nitrate and silver chromate, okay? So, double displacement, the same. Iri replace ni silver si potassium, dito naman matotransfer si potassium. Kaya ang product natin ay potassium nitrate, silver chromate, okay? So, nagkaroon ng uh, interchange, Naging, nagkaroon ng double displacement, okay? So, let's check its molecule, okay? So, isang molecule, iisa natin. Silver. Okay, so silver sa reactant side. We have one atoms, ang um, subscript, one din yung coefficient. Okay, so one yung subscript, then one din yung coefficient, therefore silver is one times one equals one. Dito nun sa kabila, kung titignan nyo, silver has a subscript of two, walang coefficient. So meaning to say this is one. So silver now is two times one equals two. So let's check. Okay, the next molecule. Okay, this one, nitrate. Nitrate is considered as isa lang po yan sila. Okay? Isang atom lang po yan. NO3. Because this is a polyatomic ion. Okay? So, NO3. Ilang NO3? Pag yan ay nasa loob ng parenthesis, isa lang po yung subscript niya. So, 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Dito naman sa kabila, same process. Sa loob siya ng parenthesis. Pero hindi na natin nilalagay kasi isa lang naman yung subscript niya. So usually hindi na natin yan nilalagay sa loob ng parenthesis. Pero pag uh, mayroon siyang subscript, nilalagay natin sa parenthesis yung mga polyatomic na mga ions kasi yung subscript niya ay distributed yun sa lahat ng molecule nandun sa polyatomic ions natin. Okay? So in this case, 1 times 1, yung nitrate natin, is 1 times 1 equals 1. So, let's try potassium. So, potassium dito sa reactant site, you have subscript 2. So, 2 times 1 will give you 2. 
Dito sa product side, 1 yung subscript, 1 din yung coefficient. So, potassium is 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay. So, let's check. Ito naman si... Okay. So, si chromate. Okay. Isa din po tong polyatomic ion. Okay. So, consider natin po siya as 1 lang din. So, 1 lang yung subscript niya. 1 din yung coefficient. So, 1 times 1 equals to 1. Same thing dito. Okay. Isa lang din yung subscript niya. So, remember, polyatomic ion po ito. Okay. So, 1 times 1, that is 1. So, the equation is not balanced if you could see because silver sa reactant side is 1 but dito sa product side is 2. Potassium is 2 sa reactant but only 1 dito sa product. Okay? So, let's try and balance this equation. Okay? So, anong pwede natin i-add? Okay? So, let's try adding 2 dito sa silver nitrate natin. So, pag meron ng silver nitrate dyan, meron na ilagay natin na coefficient of 2. Si silver ay magiging 1 times 2 equals 2. Mag-change na din si nitrate. Nitrate will now become 1, yung uh, subscript of nitrate. Sabi natin sa loob ito ng part, uh, parenthesis because this is a polyatomic ion. Okay, So subscript is only 1 times 2. So nitrate now is two to, uh, 1 times 2 equals 2. Okay, So hindi na siya balanced. Okay? So let's check and try and uh, tr let's try to add dito sa potassium nitrate natin. So if we are going to add 2 as coefficient for potassium nitrate, Magbabago na po. Okay, si nitrate dito. Okay, so 1. Sabi natin, si do not forget, polyatomic ion po ito. So, ang subscript niya dito is only 1 times 2. Nitrate now is equals to 2. Okay, so potassium will also change. So, potassium will now become 1 times 2 equals 2. Okay, so let's check. Silver here, so reactant is 2, product is 2. Balance. Okay, so this is balance, okay. Nitrate, nitrate sa reactant is 2, nitrate sa product side is also 2. Potassium is 2, so, so product side is 2. Okay, this is 1 and 1. Okay, very good. So therefore, this is our balanced equation. Okay? So madali lang po, always remember that when you want to find the, when you balance the equation, you have to make sure that you have to identify what is the subscript and what is the coefficient. Okay, so just multiply the subscript and the coefficient will give you the number of atoms of that molecule. So check na lang kung yung number of atoms of that molecule sa reactant side is pareho ba dito sa product side para uh, balance sila. Kasi kung hindi pareho, hindi nga sila balance. So you have to balance the equation. Okay, so last one, we have another one. Last one example is you have lead nitrate. Okay, so lead Plus potassium iodide. Okay, so your potassium iodide will give you lead iodide plus potassium nitrate. Okay, so yun yung product natin. So let's check if this equation is balanced. So let's try uh, counting the number of atoms of lead. So lead, kung titignan nyo, walang subscript. That's 1 times 1. Walang coefficient equals 1. Dito naman sa kabila, wala din subscript, walang coefficient. So, lead is 1 times 1. So, next is we have nitrate, okay, and O3. O, ito yung sinasabi ko sa, sa inyo, di ba? Dito ngayon sa formula, okay, so sa formula ni lead nitrate, since may dalawa siyang subscript, 2 yung subscript niya, nasa loob siya ng parenthesis. To uh, identify... Okay, na dalawang atom din si nitrogen dito. Si oxygen dito ay 2 times 3. Okay, but anyway, in this particular balancing of equation, consider sila as one polyatomic ion. So, isa lang po sila. So, let's get the number of uh, atoms of nitrate. Okay, so nitrate is 2 times 1 ang coefficient will give you 2. Dito sa kabila, okay, kung ilalagay natin siya sa loob ng parenthesis, this is only 1 yung 1 yung coefficient niya. Okay? Uh, 1 yung subscript niya. 1 din yung coefficient. So, nitrate is 1 times 1. Okay? Let's try potassium. Potassium here is 1 subscript, 1 coefficient. So, that is 1 times 1. Dito naman sa product side, coefficient is also 1. And uh, coefficient is 1, subscript is also 1. 
So 1 times 1 equals to 1. Okay, so let's try iodine. Okay, iodine is 1 times 1 is 1. Dito naman sa kabila, kung titignan yung iodine have a subscript of 2, coefficient niya is none. So meaning to say this is equal to 1. So iodine sa product side is 2 times 1. Okay? So wag muna natin i-add. Okay? So clear muna natin screen natin. And let's try balancing this equation. Kasi kung titignan nyo, hindi balance si nitrate, hindi din balance si iodine. Okay? So let's try nga adding uh, two atoms of uh, potassium nitrate. So ang mangyayari dito, mag-change na si nitrate. So one yung subscript niya times two will give you two atoms. Then uh, potassium will also change. So potassium is one times two will give you two. Okay. So ano pa ang hindi balance? Hindi pa rin balance si potassium at hindi rin balance si iodine. So let's try adding uh, uh, two dito sa potassium iodide natin. Okay. So ang mangyayari, potassium will now become one times two equals two. Iodine natin ay one times two is also two. Okay. So let's check lead one and one sa reactant, one sa product, balance, nitrate, pareho, two, potassium, pareho, okay, two, iodine is also the same. Okay, very good. So this equation is now balanced. Okay, so mabilis lang po magbalance ng chemical equations. Okay, so if you want to learn more about chemistry, please do subscribe. Okay, and hit the like button off, okay, para uh, ma-inform kayo kung meron tayong mga ba bagong videos. Okay, so thank you so much. Okay, uh, subscribe po, don't forget.